Take Hello it. all. So, um, what I have is, this is on the spark gap of a Tesla coil. This is just my fellow Tesla coilers out there. One person in particular, Terry. And, and, uh, and Ryan too, but Terry's got the mots, so <laughs> he's got the good power pushing. Um, but this is an idea of utilizing the heat off the spark gap. And, uh, and the, uh, what I have is graphite, uh, nanoparticulate graphite in a, a solution of sodium bicarbonate or baking soda and Epsom salts with a coil like a like element style coil where it's kind of shorted on itself and then goes in center tapped basically and then um, um, the uh, the rest is pretty self-explanatory it's just on the spark gap of the Tesla coil so you can see when I start it up I got some lightning action And you can see it's expanding like a diaphragm on the top there. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, it looks like it. So right now it's not that efficient because if you take by like doing that, if you take a bulb, you, know, you get occasional pulses. See that but under a vacuum not only do you get you can see the steam forming in there but under a vacuum not only can you get uh, more boiling action but you can also but you can also um, get a more constant flow oh, I just I lost them it's leaking out because it boiled out yeah I have to stop it but you get a more constant flow. Obviously, I need a better setup than this because I'm just using plastic and that's not going to work very well. I need to get some Pyrex or something along that nature. Yeah, that's that's from. It's warm, but it's not it's cooking. Not from just now? No, that's from the past. Oh, I, if really you see, there's an indentation where I did the same experiment a while back. Well, I didn't use the baking soda. I just used the Epsom salts and the and the nanoparticulate graphite. And I, there's different methods of of exfoliating that. You can watch one of Robert Murray Smith's videos on that, but uh, this is just a kind of an explanation of it. You can see that's more than just steam, unfortunately. It's also uh, some burning plastic, so. <laughs> but it is, it is, the cell is quite, here, feel it, Sid, be my second yeah, that's pretty warm. Yeah, so you can get it. You can get it cooking, boiling hot, um, even without the vacuum chamber. Especially if you're driving it with something like a mot. Look at that, just freaking, it's just leaking. Uh, problem I'm having is that I don't have the proper. Is that, is that Janus now? Yeah, I put a little bit of on it, on it, just to try to seal it up. Yeah. Uh, I don't have the proper apparatus for it that I need to construct something the thing is I used glass last time and the glass ended up shattering because it got so hot and that's actually why this top part melted you use thin glass or thick glass I use a Gerber baby jar that's pretty thick I guess it's pretty thick I mean it's decent yeah so uh, but that's just uh, some some ideas throw some ideas out there and there's better ways to uh, go about this but uh, but with the limited resources I have, that's pretty much what I got right now. So the, I, I could design something, but I don't know if I have the money to <laughs> afford to make it. But uh, I'll come up with that later. But this is just a, just this is just a, to throw that idea out there. And then also, think about this: where lots of people are excited about the ionization from the air. If you use this as a step-down transformer and I, you know, step down the ionization and on the spark gap in reverse you still have the same relative principle going on okay you can you can create a plasma reactor or you can create a chamber of some sort extract the heat out to run turbines it's just a matter of transitioning the energy into other states of, of existence so that's you can do that in a multitude of ways 
as well as using, you know, wind turbines like 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 Muddy does such a great great job at. Scott does, and uh, and, and water turbines. I, th I think I've seen Tin Man do a water turbine with a washing machine. It was awesome. I mean, so many wonderful ideas out there. It's just a it's just a coming together with our resources and pooling pooling the ideas together and creating a, a multi-purposed type of uh, energy harvester and I think that 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 is really if we, if we want to pull ourselves out of the the scarcity mess that we're in right now I think that would be the best route to take so I hope that this video reaches somebody out there who maybe inspires a little bit uh, I'm gonna work on this a little more because I've been hopefully isn't money greedy <laughs> for pounds. Well, I, you know, there's no money to be made in 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 abundance. You know, you can make honestly. I know a lot of people with money that argue that. Well, but do they make things abundant or do they control the supply and demand? Well, yeah, they control the supply. And there demand. you go. <laughs> so, uh, so anyways, I, I'll I'll add this. Like, I'd like to get some type of Pyrex or. Th you know, some something that would be more so honestly. Like I think a I could probably use a housing where you can't see into it, obviously, but it would be the uh, the ground out housing, um, and that might be that might show some better results. So, anyways, thank you for watching as always, and uh, hope everyone's doing well out there. And hopefully, talk right, to well, we'll tack on here. Uh, the other idea behind this is is the transmission of power. And to be able to utilize and reclaim some energy, right? And also at the same time, transmit power. Whew, that was a good. That was a good one. As you can see, it's, the frequency is quite uh, extreme, up and down. And now we are cooking. <laughs> really burning up on one side. Oh, melting it. <laughs> there goes the, the container. Anyways, I just want to add that on. I forgot to mention is that uh, you can also transmit power and and why reclaiming excess energy in heat or magnetic field or whatever. You know, it's just a matter of utilizing the energy and its different states of transition. So, again, thank you for watching.